My name is Pablo Restrepo. I am a professor and consultant in negotiation. Negotiating with our children is one of the most difficult subjects for a parent. We want to see our children happy. We often feel guilty because we cannot please them. And wow, can they be stubborn and inconsiderate sometimes. Know this. Improving your negotiation skills with your children strengthens your relationship with them. As a bonus, it is also a great exercise to become a better negotiator and learn how to deal with difficult negotiations. If you can negotiate effectively with your child, you are well on your way to negotiate effectively in other situations. Here are three tactics that are helpful when negotiating with children. Multiple offers. Multiple offers work well in business negotiation and they can be a lifesaver when negotiating with your children. So give your child a choice. Often our children push back to assert their independence. Say your child refuses to get dressed in the morning. Give them a choice. Would you like to wear the red shirt or the blue shirt today? This gives your child a feeling of independence while at the same time meeting your objectives of getting them dressed. Reciprocal agreements. Your child does not want to do their homework. It is time to make a deal. You do your homework and then you can watch an hour of television. The key to reciprocal agreements is that you need to be consistent and try to get what you want first. Co-creation. You can tell your child what your interests are and then brainstorm together on how to meet that objective. Let's say you want your child to get more exercise. Brainstorm how that can happen. Is it taking a walk as a family after dinner, taking classes at the local community center, or riding their bar bike to school? Co-creating solution gives your child a sense of ownership in the plan and in the outcome. In this video, we've been giving you a few tactics for better negotiations with your children. Multiple offers, reciprocal agreements, co-creation. However, if you have a full blown out meltdown on your hands, there are a few steps you need to do first before you can negotiate. Watch our next video on how to handle an emotional hurricane. See you next time. Until then, happy negotiations.